Andrew, who was shot by a neighbor over a parking spot in Hialeah, is speaking exclusively to Local 10. He's now out of the hospital as the man who shot him will remain behind bars. Local 10's Hal Savella is live in Hialeah with the interview you'll only see on Local 10. Hatsel. Nicole, our camera's there at a pretrial detention hearing where we learn from the judge that she's deeply concerned about this man's uh, temper, and that's the reason she decided to keep him in jail. Meanwhile, you are going to hear from that young man now that he's recovering here at home. It's the first time he steps out of the house, he says. I cry at night because of the pain. Humberto Carrazana talks to Local 10, shows us his injuries following that life-threatening incident with his neighbor. It feels like they're stabbing me all day. There's a lot of, a lot of pain. I hear some screaming. In court today, the victim's sister recalling that horrific day reminds us the shooting was all about a parking space with a neighbor. Shot my brother from the back. She tells us Justo Arrate Rodriguez keeps shooting, hitting a car, threatening to kill everyone. The 66-year-old now in jail, accused of shooting his 18-year-old neighbor over a parking spot. Carrazana was shot twice in the chest and arm. He's doing well, thank God. The victim's mother tells us her son is in a lot of pain, but recovering at home from his injuries, which includes a collapsed lung. He's talking, he's alert, he's walking. Thank God for that. The suspect's family says we're not getting the whole story here. This is a man who's been living at that home for decades and has never had an issue with neighbors. He is 66 years old. He's never had an issue with anybody. Never had a criminal record, no type of his. Never heard him say a curse word in my life. I've known him for 43 years, so... Yeah, this is a case of bullying an old man. But the state argues the incident is too extreme, too brutal, too severe to allow Arrate Rodriguez to be released. And the court agrees. So Arrate Rodriguez is due back in court on February 20th. We should tell you that if he is convicted, he could face anywhere between 25 and life in prison. For now, reporting live in Hialeah, I'm Hatsopala, Local 10 News. Okay, Hatsop, thanks a lot.